So let's talk about how do insurance companies determine the cost for your workers' compensation insurance for your mental health or substance use disorder program. There's three key components I want to talk through on this video to help you understand the key factors that drive your rate. First is job duties. How do they have you classified? Two, payroll. And three is your experience mod. So let's go one by one. Classification is dependent on what state you're in, but for the most part, the National Council on Compensation Insurance determines the job duties and the classification and how your employees should be described. Higher risk employees, you have to pay more for. Lower risk employees, you pay less for. So for example, um, if you're running a counseling operation, you probably have some type of doctor's office classification on your policy. That's less expensive than if somebody's working in a residential program, which probably has either a group home or a hospital class code. And the difference can be for the outpatient program, it can be 50 cents for every dollar, where the residential program could be $2 for every $100 of payroll that you've got. Big cost difference. So that's one of the first things that you look at. Second is, are the payrolls correctly? Are they allocated correctly? One of the biggest mistakes I see all types of businesses make is they'll, they'll, they'll bring somebody on as an independent contractor, they'll pay them on a 1099, and then think they're not responsible for workers' compensation insurance. That's a big mistake. If the people that you're using by 1099 don't have their workers' compensation insurance, the system's rigged against you you're gonna to have to count that payroll in. So either collect that from your independent contractors or expect to pay for it in workers' compensation insurance. So the third factor that you have to look at would be your experience mod. Workers' compensation is the only policy that you buy where you are compared against your peers based on how you did, based on the number of claims you had and the severity of claims that you had. And if you don't do well against your peers, you pay more and your experience mod is more than one and it acts as a multiplier. So if you've got an experience of 1.5, you are paying 50% more than the average organization in your peer group. And if you're doing really well, it'll be less than one. So if you've got an experience mod of 0.8, you're paying 20% less. So those are the three things you've got to look at at your workers' compensation policy. You got to look at how your employees are classified, what's your payroll, and what's your experience mod. So if this is making you ask some questions about your insurance program or your insurance broker relationship and you'd like to talk to somebody about it, please request a quote at www.bittnerhenry.com. I'm Daryl Henry. I'm with Bittner Henry Insurance Group, and we serve those who serve others.